Hi everybody and thanks for watching another SM Scrapper video. Today I'm filming from my daughter's um, nursery and I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, first off, um, what you see on the wall I made myself. These are um, wooden letters from Michaels and butterflies and I colored it and um, glittered it and varnished it and put the ribbon and hung it. So. Um, I wanted to share with you that, plus other things that I had promised on other videos to share from this room. And she's not here right now. She's at her grandma's. And um, Coco, stop doing that. I have my dog. I just came from another house where they had dogs, and now she's sniffing up my pants everywhere, my shoes. Stop it. She's here in the room with me, so bear with me. Hopefully she won't bark. Um, anyways, um, I did this... Um, before she was born obviously and I honestly don't know if I shared it with you before um, but if I did I'm sorry I probably forgot but um, if I didn't here you go um, this is um, what I did I have to stop saying on um. and as you can see I painted it yellow and glittered it up and then I varnished it because I didn't want the glitter to fall off like I put a gloss on the top I used some um, transparent polka dot ribbon and these I just uh, colored with acrylic paint and did the same thing with different color ribbons. The, the, what, the eye, I put a glitter on the eye. Super simple project and it saves you a lot of money because all these letters that you see on the stores, I mean they're like $16 a letter, sometimes $22 a letter. And these you can buy them at um, Michael's. They're raw, raw wood. And then you just paint them, put gloss over them, and hang them. And believe it or not, on the top here, I don't know if I'm going to be right there. There's a tiny, tiny, I don't know if you can see, tiny, tiny little um, nail in there. But also I have glue dots in the back of these, um, like 3D glue dots. I don't know, no, you probably won't be able to see. Um, holding these letters in place because I didn't want them to come off. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Then um, let me cover up because there's a ton of clothes everywhere. When I showed this, you remember that Janet made this monogram for Emily. Super cute. I, re I told you on that video that she had also made me um, another project with her name on it that go that's in her room. So I'm going to show you um, that project right now. Let's cover up. And here it is. It's so cute. It's made out of boxes. And I'm going to go through it in detail. She took fiber and strung all the boxes. And all the boxes, I don't know if you could tell, are like heart. The closure of it is a heart. I believe she used the um, Madeline collection from K and Company. I am not sure, and I think I saw this idea on Creating Keepsakes magazine of 2009. I believe it's like the June or the March issue. I'm not sure, but um, I'm sure I saw the the idea there. And she did such a great job because she had this is an AccuCut die. This um, box is an AccuCut die and then she just covered the box each box with the design paper and then she beat it through the fiber different beads and also um, flowers I believe these are Prima or Recollection flowers and then she used the alphabet set from that line and made each box have an, you know the letter of her name so let's go back her name is Emily, so you can see all the letters right there. It is a lovely, lovely project that I wanted to share with you. And it was such a cute idea. So I just wanted to put that out there. Go check out her channel. She's NanaJ054 here on YouTube. She does great stuff, and she's made this for Emily. Hopefully I'm not shaking too much. I'm not using the tripod today. So that's how it looks. And that's the detail. 
super cute. It's adorable. The attention to detail is magnificent. It's very beautiful and the paper is just amazing. She even um, cut out, I believe this is a stamping up punch, um, the scalloped um, heart, or maybe it's not a stamping up punch, maybe it's a nestability. I think it's a nestability. I'm not sure. And then she glued it on top of the heart closure and then she um, put the letter on there from that collection which had um, I don't know if you could see like little pearls so that look at the I think she put stickles on it like at this side this one or maybe this is um, diamond dust around the heart but she decorated look all the sides of the box so it's not just the top let's see I'm trying to go underneath to show you. There you go. Hopefully, I'm not making you dizzy. And that's what it looks like from the top. So that's it. That's the project I promised to show you. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.